My name is Larry Burkholder. I've been with Moorbark almost since its inception. Came to work for Normal in 1962. He'd started the company in 1957. And he had a great appreciation for how much resource and how much wood was out there and how much was wasted from his logging days and this. And he always thought there ought to be a use for it. Uh, but he was always looking ahead. So he had a vision for bioenergy, for electricity. This was a good renewable. The thing was is to get the environmentalists and everybody on board on uh, instead of devastating the forest, how we could go in and enhance the forest. There's just multiple levels of you know good stewardship that uh, echo through uh, the proper management of forest lands. And the site that we're on today uh, has a component on it that basically has no value at any point of its life and to it's overstocked and too dense. Why not turn the, those products into something else as well? Biomass is really not any different. You're taking a waste product and turning it into a valuable asset, which is energy in this case. My name is Bill Gaston, and I'm in the renewable energy business today. We started many years ago with a small family-run tree business. We moved into the collection, reduction, and recycling of tree land clearing and yard debris. That took us into storm remediation and cleanup around the country when uh, events happened, such as hurricanes and tornadoes. And that led us into the renewable energy field, where we are now collecting the same material, tree, land clearing, and yard debris. And what happens then is we run that through grinders, where our, our grinding company is Moorbark, and we have a number of Moorbark grinders, and sending it to power plants in order to generate electricity. I work with Larry Burkholder and, uh, and he, is, he is so engaged in our business. And so not only do they make the best iron, but they also have the best support and they get involved in what we're doing on a daily basis. Bill is a quick study. You know, once he, once he sees it and so on, then it's just a matter of growing and he advanced to one of the top. And then we have such a cross-reference of configurations of equipment from track machines to uh, uh, tubs to uh, grinders to stationary. Uh, we've been there and done it all. We've gotten into the 6600 on tracks. Uh, we're, in fact, we have a couple of those and that just improves our mobility. In fact, it's a one-man operation. As well as we're running three 1600s and that is the most productive tub grinder in the world. The first reason that we chose it is because we have a long-term great relationship with Moorbark. And the second is, is nothing can keep up with it. I mean, it is the most productive grinding and chipping uh, equipment there is. Most of the people in this industry are tied into one market. They start out small and they grow and they stay within that framework. Bill has, got, has vision and he's seen where other markets were. We talked about it. Another thing that we're doing is we're taking round wood from uh, timber companies. We're running a 5500 flail to debark uh, round wood and then it goes through the Moorbark 5048 whole tree chipper and into our trucks. And that material heads over to Jacksonville to the port and uh, it's loaded on a ship and is exported to China. The chips that are going to, to port have to be very, they're very uh, strict on the particle size and so there's really not a product that we can't make with, with, uh, with the Moorbark equipment. We pay a whole lot of time uh, meeting and understanding the customer and his concept. Moorbark tried to help me grow every step of the way, but I found something better, lighter and cheaper. And so I bought a competitor, and I won't tell you what it was. I watched what he was doing. We immediately went broke, and it shook itself to, apart. So Moorbark came back in and said, Bill, how can we help you? I said, I think we could do this project for you and you could advance much more rapidly. We think that if we save money on the front end, it'll help us down the road, when the reality is if we had moved into the Moorbark equipment originally, it would have saved us a lot of headaches. I can't imagine a situation where we'd use something else.